Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Besso Designers, and today, Corey Kineska. Now, this is a harder list for me to make because Corey is one of the on-staff designers of Fantasy Flight. You might consider him to be the on-staff designer, depending on who you're talking to. He's definitely somebody who makes thematic games. And when you talk to him, you can see that he's so excited to talk about his games, and he talks about them in thematic terms. But the list is harder to make because he works with Fantasy Flight games, and there's so many different games that they come out with, and I'm never quite sure, like, you know, when you see his name in a box, sometimes there's four other designers, sometimes it's by himself, sometimes... So I'm not sure, like, is he the main designer or one of the designers. But either way, you can tell that he's enthusiastic about bringing theme to life. So these are my ten games where his name is on the box for sure. Uh, the top 10 games designed by Corey Kinesga. Number 10, Twilight Imperium 4th Edition. This one's actually 10 because the original game was designed by Christian Peterson. So I'm sure just some of the changes in Twilight Imperium 4 came from Corey. And Twilight Imperium 4, this big, giant, grand space opera of a game, uh, is the best, most streamlined version of this game so far. A lot of the changes they made from TI4, from TI3, are fairly small, but they're very good changes and make the game better. Number nine is Star Wars Imperial Assault. This game, which was originally based on uh, Descent 2, which was based on Descent, which was based on Doom from Kevin Wilson. But the Star Wars Imperial Assault, and I know that he is not the main designer of this one. There was two other guys, so that's why it's number nine. I really like this game. The idea of going through a dungeon crawl, but it's Star Wars. And also a tactical game just works really well, and it really brings the Star Wars theme to life. Number eight is Middle Earth Quest. He worked on this also with two other designers. This is an interesting game because Lord of the Rings was super popular at the time. And so they, they you went to Middle Earth for this game and going around doing quests and things like that. But it was years and years and years before the Lord of the Rings happened. Like half these characters, I don't even know who they are. You learn who they are throughout the game. It's really interesting. It has a lot of lore and flavor to it. If you ever get a chance to check this one out, I would recommend it. Number seven is Rune Age. Rune Age is set in the Terranoth universe when deck building was popular. This was the game that came out. And it's not a bad game. It's, uh, it's you know, when it, when it kind of got lost in the shuffle of all the other deck builders. But Rune Age itself has the different decks based on different uh, factions and things like that. My number seven. Number six, Eldritch Horror. This, he he co-designed with Nikki Vallis. Uh, Valens, uh, they worked together on this, basing it on a system that was already in place from Richard Launius in Arkham Horror, where he worked with Kevin Wilson. Um, but this game itself was a nice departure from that. It took the Arkham Horror system and then added this adventure system where you went all over the place. Really good. I mean, we're talking strong, really cool uh, Cthulhu theme in this one. I like it a lot. Number five is Forbidden Stars. Worked with a couple other designers on this one. Also, this kind of reimagination of a, an older game, StarCraft, where they brought it back and put the Warhammer 40K universe into this game. And you went around and blow stuff up and build technology. Each one was very different. I'm always sad that this game, we're never going to see an expansion for it, which is unfortunate. Um, uh, but I like this one a lot. It lets you take like a, a basically a macro look at the 40k universe, not just the little battles, you know, 40k, but pulling all the way back. Really cool game. Number four is Space Hulk Death Angel. Now, Space Hulk, very popular board game. This was a card game cooperative version, uh, which was just unique and different to the point where I played this with people who don't even like Warhammer 40k, and they enjoyed this game. Uh, this it, One of the things that it did well was it kind of avoided the alpha gamer problem because there was sometimes you draw a card in this game and you had to make a decision without talking to anybody else. I like that a lot. Uh, it was a difficult little cooperative card game. Number three, Battlestar Galactica. Corey took the, the TV show, Battlestar Galactica, and made it into a game. When we first heard about this game, this was the second game that, uh, that was popular that had a traitor aspect to it. But it actually turned out to be more of a team of Cylons versus other people. And this game got played to death. Everyone liked it. People who didn't even care about the show thought it was great. People who liked the show thought it was amazing. This game is still being played today in various places and conventions and such. Very popular game, Battlestar Galactica. Number two, Mansions of Madness. And Nicky Valens took it and made out the much vastly superior second edition. But Mansions of Madness was a pretty neat game. Why? Because you went through... And you're going through this Cthulhu thing, but it wasn't about fighting. You did some fighting in the game, but it was more about puzzle solving and this growing sense of horror as you went through this mansion and tried to figure out what was going on. 
Really cool game. At number one, maybe a magnus opus of sorts, and that's Star Wars Rebellion. This game takes Star Wars. This is the game that we've dreamed about for years, right? I want to see the whole Star Wars in a box. I have X-Wing and Armada and Imperial Assault, and I can do all these battles, but I want to see the whole thing. I want to see the story. I want to see Luke and, and Leia escape with the Death Star plans. And in this game, all that stuff happens, and the Death Star is blowing up planets, and the, the Empire is looking for the Rebel base, and it just comes together in a really well-done, beautiful, with lots of miniatures game, Star Wars Rebellion. Corey Kineska is one of those designers that if I see his name in a box, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to like this game. We'll see. Tell me what your favorite games are of his in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Tom Fassel, and this has been the best of designers, Corey Kineska. Mm -hmm.